I'm Neil Harrison. I'm a cyborg artist as well, and I have an antenna implanted in my head that allows me to extend my perception of color beyond the visual spectrum, so I can feel from infrared to ultraviolet. Uh, I'm Moon Rivas. I'm a cyborg artist, and I have some implants in my feet, implanted in my feet, that are connected to online seismic labs and allows me to perceive the seismic activity of the planet in real time, and I'll call this the seismic sense. Well, the, a cyborg artist is uh, an artist that creates new senses. I think that uh, artists no longer need to use technology as a tool. We can use technology as part of our body and, and design our perception of, of reality and new organs and new senses. Yeah, we think that cyborg art is the art of creating your own senses, organs and perception of reality by merging with technology. The difference between using or wearing technology is that if you merge with technology, you don't feel that you're using technology. When you use it as a tool, you're conscious that you're using technology. In my case, I, I'm not always conscious that I have an antenna. I, I'm permanently perceiving colors and I'm, con I'm not feeling that I'm using technology because it's embedded in me. So when you merge with technology, technology disappears in a way. And that's for us the magic because we, we're not really interested in using technology. We want to connect with nature. So if we merge with technology, we can connect with nature without having to use technology. We feel it's more natural to unite so it doesn't interrupt our natural senses already. My next project is to add an organ that will allow me to sense time around my head. So it will be a point of heat that will slowly go around the head and it will take 24 hours to do the complete circle. So I will feel a 24 hour cycle of the earth around my head and this will give me an organ for the sense of time. And my aim is to get used to it. And once my brain gets used to it, I want to see if I can modify my perception of time. So if I make the point of heat go slower or faster, this, this should alter my perception of time. So this is my current aim to take time relativity into practice. Some people are very, are very scared to think uh, of this unit between technology and, and humans, but actually we say that it's a, it's a human choice to, to decide how, how we want to unite. Yeah, there's different, I think there's different types of fear. Some people fear that if we merge with technology we might become less human and people think that becoming less human is bad, but we don't think it's bad to become less human. We are surrounded by non-human lives and they're not bad so I think uh, slowly society will accept that becoming less human doesn't necessarily mean something bad. Socially it's not accepted to merge with technology but we think that in the future it will be seen as ethical and, and good because I think the more we design ourselves the less we'll have to design the planet the less we'll have to change it so if we all had night vision for example we wouldn't use artificial light light would be off we wouldn't spend energy creating light if we could see at night if we could control our own temperature, we wouldn't use heaters, air conditioning, so we wouldn't change the temperature of the planet. We would change our own temperature. So we've been for thousands of years changing the planet in so many ways. And I think we're going to start seeing a change and we'll start seeing how we start designing ourselves and changing ourselves and we'll start leaving the planet in peace. So now that we, we identify ourselves as a cyborg, so actually we don't feel closer to robots or to machines, we feel closer to Earth, I feel closer to Earth because I can feel it's moving constantly and, through other, uh, and to other animals, so I think the more you understand and feel closer to Earth, the more you try to protect it and, and create more empathy towards it.